Hi everybody, welcome back to Be Rich. I thought we'll talk about uh, something a little technical today because there's been something that always I've been wanting to understand better, which is what is the difference between uh, physical policy and monetary policy? What is this difference, Anand? Everyone talks in the news. You know, there are two levers through which an economy of a system can be controlled. Hmm. The economic system is a country hmm. or a state, okay? Hmm. But we will take a country. Hmm. The fiscal policy is framed by the parliament hmm. and the finance minister. The finance minister makes a budget, hmm. goes to parliament, the hmm. parliament clears it. Hmm. This is basically how the government is going to raise money but through taxes. Hmm. And what are the tax rates going to be? Hmm. There are two types of taxes. There is a direct tax and there is an indirect tax. Hmm. And what is the direct tax? What is the indirect tax? And there is a head, other headings which are not very important. Hmm. Primarily direct and indirect taxes. Hmm. How the government is going to get money hmm. and how the government is going to spend money. Hmm. In a democracy like Socrates told us many centuries back, hmm. is like a speed paint shop. Hmm. Whomever promises more than what he can deliver, Hmm. will win. Correct. So like giving freebies. Hmm. This is a sweet so, picture. Nice way of bribing. Nice way of bribing. Hmm. Instant gratification. Hmm. Against all psychology we know. Hmm. And so what happens is we promise more than what we can pay. Hmm. And therefore, the spending is always greater than the revenue. Hmm. So there is something called a fiscal deficit. Hmm. There are two types of deficit. One is the fiscal deficit, mm. which is the total deficit of a country. Mm. Then there is a subset of that called as revenue deficit, mm. which is what is the revenue you earn, mm. what is the revenue expenditure. The shortfall. Revenue, that is in terms of what you have to spend daily, mm. not new buildings and all that. Mm. Rent, electricity, your staff, running expenses, pension, your running overheads. expenses. Mm. So at least you should meet your running expenses. But in most cases, there will be also a revenue deficit. Hmm. Your running expenses are greater than the total revenue you have collected. Hmm. This results in borrowing, government borrowings. Hmm. This is the fiscal pol policy. Hmm. The Reserve Mon Bank. Hmm. Monetary policy. Hmm. Now, the Reserve Bank decides hmm. or the Central Bank decides hmm. what will be the interest rate in the system. Hmm. That depends primarily on how much money the central bank is forced to print hmm. to buy government bonds. Hmm. If they had, if all the government bonds are bought by the public hmm. and the central bank does not have to buy them directly or indirectly, hmm. then there will be no problem. Hmm. But always there is a compact. Who buys that bond? Hmm. You have told the agreement is, hmm. I give you a banking license. Hmm. A banking license is a license to create money. Hmm. I give you a license to create money, mm. but you have to take an X percentage of the deposits you are collecting mm. and pay my pay me my uh, and buy my bonds. Mm. So suppose you are a bank, mm. I give you hundred rupees, mm. thirty rupees of that you'll have to go buy government bonds. Mm. Balance seventy percent you lend in the market. Mm. Depending on how much money is created, mm. suppose too much money is created in a system, mm. then more money is chasing less goods. Mm. Therefore, the price of goods and services will go up. Mm. Correct. Right? There are yes. too much money, limited amounts of goods and services. Correct. Price of that goods or service will go up. Correct. Not a money chasing the Not a money chasing it. Mm. So to stop it, mm. the Reserve Bank will do one thing. It will start to increase interest rates. Mm. Rates at which it will lend. It's the lender of the last resort. Correct. At the rate at which this will lend money to the bank. Hmm. In turn, oh. the bank lends to the... In turn, the lend. Suppose there is a shortage money. Hmm. On money flow, there is a shortage. Hmm. Then, hmm. the central banker has to... The government bank... The bank will go to the central banker, hmm. give its government security and take some loan. Correct. So, that is called interbank lending or it is called as... Uh, window facility. There are several facilities. Hmm. Different names for it. Different names. Hmm. So, the rate at which... Uh, RBA lends to bank is fixed. Correct. It is called as the repo rate. This is all under monetary policy. Monetary. Hmm. Then there is another policy called reverse repo. Hmm. Suppose bank has excess money hmm. and it goes and parks it with RBA. Hmm. What is the reverse repo they will get? Hmm. Normally the gap between, there will be a gap. Hmm. 
mm. between the repo and the reverse repo. Mm. So this is called as the window or the corridor. Mm. Depending on the amount of money required by the government, mm. this money system will work. Mm. If there is too much money created, interest rates or the price of interest will shoot. 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 Mm. People will lose confidence in the currency. Mm. So to stop that, the central bank has to keep increasing interest rates. Mm. If the interest rates goes too high? Interest rates go too high, mm. then the growth volume. The economic growth will uh, come down because the blood, what is the blood? Mm. The blood of the economy is cash. Correct. If the what is interest rate? Cost of cash. If cost of borrowings go, mm. then all the profits go to the banker. Correct. Little profit is left in the hands of the capitalist. Therefore, the economy will slow down. Correct. So, this is how it works. Now, what is the relationship between both? The relationship is mm. how much the government wants to borrow mm. will determine the inflation. One of the primary determinants of inflation. Mm. If the government wants to borrow too much, mm. then if the central bank doesn't intervene, mm. then the interest rates, that means government will have to pay more interest. Mm. If government starts to borrow too much from the market, then private investors will not get money hmm. and they will have to borrow in the illegal market. Hmm. So, in a normal system, government should have less than 3% of fiscal deficit hmm. so that they will borrow only so much. Hmm. Only 3% of the total budget will be borrowed from the banks. Hmm. The rest of the money is free to be lent to the private sector. Hmm. If you allow the fixed deposit to go, the fixed fiscal deficit to go beyond a point, mm. then you will crowd out the private sector. Mm. Cost of money for private sector will increase mm. and you will not be able to do any business. Mm. Now, the differential rate, inflation, the difference in inflation rate mm. between a country like India and a country like America mm. is the rate at which your currency will depreciate. Mm. Though the Reserve Bank says that there is no difference, our inflation is lower than the American inflation, mm. The rupee has slided by 13%. Mm. That means the real inflation did not come in the figure. Mm. The difference between American inflation and Indian inflation over two years was 13%. Mm. So if I divide it equally also, it is half, seven and a half to eight percent. This is how you calculate. One question I have. Mm. You explained about democracy and how we were, it is trying to please immediate gratification. So how did these big democracies become so rich? They are not rich. Hmm. There is no asset. You think government has money. Government has no money. So, none of these so-called big economies are rich. There are 200 percent, 300 percent of GDP as debt. Hmm. Their total debt hmm. is 200 times the turnover. Hmm. If America's turnover is 16 trillion dollars, hmm. its debt is 24 to 30 trillion dollars. Hmm. So, the debt is far higher than the turnover. So, the biggest advantage America is going for it is being reserve currency. Yes. So if it wasn't know. the reserve currency, it would be in deep trouble. Yes. And that is the pain that Britain is going through now from moving away from a reserve currency to an ordinary currency and also cutting its link with Europe has destroyed the... So, you can say the British the nostalgia is actually nostalgia of having a reserve currency. Exactly. So, they've forgotten they don't have that currency, reserve yes. currency anymore. Yes. And they've misplaced their blame on being linked to Europe yes. rather than giving up the reserve currency. Yes. That special relationship is what harmed them. Yes. Anyway, this has been an interesting conversation about physical and monetary policy and a bit of history. It's called I, fiscal. Yeah, sorry, fiscal. I hope you guys found it interesting and entertaining and enlightening. Thank you for watching. Be just subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. If you do not turn on the bell notification, you will not be notified every time we put out a video. Once again, I thank you for your support for Be Rich. I want to thank all of you for supporting our event in Oman with great enthusiasm. A lot of people turned up in Oman and a place where I, am, I don't have much influence. I wish to thank all of you for your support. The next event is going to be in Qatar, Doha. The event is scheduled for the last week of January. Those who would like to meet me in person in Qatar, Doha or come to our event in Doha can send their request to the mail ID given below or contact the WhatsApp number flashing on the screen. My team will respond to you. See you in Qatar in the last week of Jan. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money 
and ordinary stocks extraordinary profits these books are published by us and are ready if you want to procure a copy send us a message to the whatsapp number given below and my team would respond to you if you want an amazon kindle copy you can click the link below finally those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish@gmail.com once again i thank you for your support If you like this video press the subscribe button of my channel hit the like button and turn on the bell notification